Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, I was looking at my YouTube channel and it said the last time I had recorded something was over a month or, or right about a month. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been spending so much time in Graymore enjoying it and having so much fun with the antiquity system and everything and uh, and my new build that I'm going to show off today that I just haven't had time to, to uh, do a video. So I'm like, it's way overdue. So I thought I'd make it a doozy. I'd make it a really good one. This video is about my new build for my Magicka Nightblade. All right. I'm calling it the Maddie's Magnificent Thoracian Magblade. It's really great. I'm really enjoying it. And I want to show you the new features and, and, and how I built it and why I built it this way. And I also give you a little demonstration of it too. I'm, I'm in VMA right now and um, I was going to show you a few levels and see and kind of explain also how Thracian Stranglers works, which is what this kind of uh, has been an addition to uh, my normal uh, mag blade. So, uh, so let's get, uh, get into it. Let's, let's talk about a few things. Well, let's talk about first, all right, what I'm using, okay? This is kind of my basic general uh, kind of setup from before. I, I would use Slime Craw if I wanted a little extra damage. But when I'm kind of going around and if I'm looking for a flawless run of VMA, I'll throw on the Ice Heart. So this is what I currently have on it. So kind of basically, you would have an, I'd have an Ice Hearts in here for the shield and the spell crit. And I got my perfected False Gods. That's mixed in with a New Moon Acolyte. So that's my, my two sets, uh, Perfected False Gods and New Moon Acolytes. Uh, Perfected False Gods for the 8% um, um, reduction in cost of my Magicka abilities and the um, uh, increased cost with the New Moon Acolyte uh, by 5%. So they kind of balance each other out um, a little bit in there. And... Um, um, and then I have my jewelry is a mix of the two with some bloodthirsty on it um, and spell damage. And then I have my new moon for my front bar. Uh, it's an inferno staff. And then my back bar, I, I did really good with my RNG, uh, with my uh, uh, veteran maelstrom, uh, uh, my VMA, um, uh, because I got two inferno staffs already. I've done like seven or eight runs only. So, because uh, they, they changed it. Now we have perfected weapons on VMA. So, uh, I have that now on the back bar infused with a fire enchant. Oh, no, with a, uh, sorry, absorb magicka enchant. My uh, fire enchant's on the front with a precise. Um, so, I'm, I'm running all that stuff, which is similar to what I had uh, before. So, here's the big changes. Because what we got now through the antiquity system is that we got something called Thracian Stranglers. Now, what Thracian Stranglers does, okay, is that upon killing an enemy, grants you a persistent stack of Slode's Call, up to a maximum of 20 stacks. Each stack increases your spell damage by 150, but also increases your damage taken, reduces your healing taken, and reduces the effectiveness of your damage shields. Okay, so it's, it's got some negatives along with it. But what that's going to affect when I put it on and start using it is that my spell damage is going to go from 2,500 to almost 6,000 without using my spell pot yet. That, that, uh, that brings that up even more. So it's... Um, it's really, really powerful, uh, but you do take a little bit more damage. I'll tell you how I kind of mitigate that as well. Um, so let's put that on there. Now it's on the, uh, my gloves. So that means that it breaks up my perfected God set. So I put it on here and so now I don't have the great benefits. I mean, I lose out of spell damage. I lose out Magicka. I lose out of the 8%. So what am I going to do? Well, what I decided to do is that, well, let's, you know what? With the shield, I don't need the shield anyway. I was used to using Slime Craw, even going into VMA. I didn't, I'm, I'm good not having to use the shield 
um, within it. And so I'm like, you know what? I could break this setup because it still has the spell crit if I break it up. So uh, luckily I held on to some perfected false god shoulders. So I've got perfected false god shoulders. Let's put that on. So now my perfected false god shoulders in light, all right, makes up for what I'm missing in my Thrasian. All right. But um, now it's broken up my ice heart. Okay. I still have the spell crit, which is really what I wanted for. So you can use a lot of different uh, helms. I, I think I, you could also do, you know, slime craw. It gives you a spell crit for its one item as well. So, um, so I'm still holding on to that. Um, and I actually have the enchant as a health enchant. Uh, why do I do that instead of doing the magicka? Well, I'm doing that to help out with a little bit of that health that's going to be um, um, because of the Thracians that um, I'm going to be taking increased damage. So I said, you know what, let's put a health enchant on there. And I found out that that really works really well to put the health enchant. Uh, does it have to be on there? No, but it makes me feel a little bit more secure um, with how much health I have with uh, getting hit a little bit harder. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, so then I'm like, okay, I'm set, right? Well, eh, kind of. I really don't like that I don't get my undaunted, you know, my heavy and medium, which was kind of the big setup, you know, that you use for the, uh, um, for, to get the little perks from the undaunted line. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that is that if you go into your Undaunted, all right, the, real, the last thing that you get for the passives is that it increases your max health, stamina, and magicka by 2% per type of armor, heavy, medium, or light that you have equipped. You see, my bonus is 4%, and that's nothing to sneeze at. A little 4% extra health, stamina, and magicka, it's really good. And because I don't have... Um, uh, that I, it's usually at six because I get two percent for each one. Um, I'm missing out on that, so I'm looking at my thing and I'm like, well, I got perfected, I got perfected, I got, I got that, I got like, oh wait, my shoes just from a lucky happenstance, because uh, I, I I happen to get perfected false gods amulet to drop, so I, I use the amulet instead of having the new moon be all rings and all you know, all jewelry in there. I actually had to make one of mine um, armor pieces, New Moon. And I'm like, wait, that comes into my advantage because with that, I, that's a crafted set. So I could get someone to craft a medium. So that's what I did. So I had a friend of mine craft a medium New Moon. So if you look there, it says medium with all the exact same stats. So now I put that in there. So now I have medium and a heavy with all of my light. All right, I got real lucky on that. And now if I go into it, boom, there you see. Oops, that's, I've got my little, hold on, let me get my little stream team logo out of this so you can see it better. Where is the thing on the thing? There it is, right there. So now you can see I'm at 6%. I was at 4 without it. Now I'm at 6%. So 6% increase to health, stamina, and magicka. So that's very valuable. Yeah. Oh. All right. So yeah. So now I've got my spell crit. I've kept that. Still everything in divines. Still my other ones in magicka. I've got magicka for that one in divines. I've got this going on there. I've got all my false gods. I've got everything that I need um, in there. I did not change any of my uh, skills. The skills are still the same. I did dabble, I have to say, with uh, Greymore coming out with vampires and everything. I did dabble with the vampire. It was too much. It was too much for me. It was too much of uh, your health going down um, and taking the extra fire damage. For, uh, other people are able to do it very well, but for me it was too much. And um, so that's the one thing when you're doing builds, find out what works for you. Um, and because um, it all works different for everybody. So I, I took it off. I, I got rid of the vampirism and I went back 
I've got my twisting path, my swallow soul. Now, swallow soul is a big reason why Thrassian works. I've tried it on some heavy attack builds. I've tried it on my Warden. I've tried it on DK. I've tried it on some of my other alts. Doesn't work as well. You need some type of constant health coming back other than you you're spamming a heal you know, all the time. And so the, the, the damage and the, the health issues that Thrassian creates really gets relieved with having Swallow Soul. If you don't know what this is, is that you steal Life Force. This is my spammable. This is what I actually hit, you know, most of all. It's my spammable ability in there. Uh, but my, uh, so I steal the Life Force, dealing damage, and healing myself for 36% of the, is that 36 or 30 of my eyes? 36% of the damage inflicted every two seconds for 10 seconds. And so it, it really helps to mitigate that. My Merciless Resolve is still there. My Impale. I do Inner Light. Uh, I tried doing um, the um, the Mirage thing. The, um, uh, gosh, I even forget the name on there. My little shadow of the other the other morph of it. And so I couldn't get it to work in my rotation. So, uh, so I just go with Inner Light. And then I do go with Incapacitating Strikes uh, to give me um, um, some uh, restoring of, of, of Magicka. Everything. And then my back bars, my unstable, my mystic orb, my siphoning attacks, my mirage in there. I like that better than the shield just because, again, I'm a little bit lazy. I don't like to have to cast it all the time. So that lasts for 26 seconds. So it's not really a shield, but it helps out with spell resistances and physical resistances. So it does help out with that. And then my channel acceleration and my fiery rage on that. So I've got all of that going on. Um, in there for my skills. My food buff is the, um, is the Artem pickled fish bowl in there. Gives me some good health. Give me some good magic up, uh, in there. My sustain has not been an issue, uh, in that even though it's, it's, it's only 900, uh, sustain has been really good. Um, if you see my magic up, this is without a spell pot, of course. Uh, and without the Thrassian kicked in, um, it's a 36, uh, 21 for the health, um, and 11 for the stamina. So my health, really good, higher than I normally would have at the 21, um, and the magic is really good. And even without, you know, having Thrassian, I've got some good spell damage. I guess a really good crit. You can see that, 67%. So because of that, uh, I go with the shadow so that my crit damage does a lot more uh, a lot more punch. And I crit oh, a lot of the time um, in there. So I think when I did on a target dummy one time, I was getting like, you know, almost 90%, you know, uh, crit on there. So almost all my damage is crit damage uh, within there. Um, so it's this number here that's going to go up with the Thrassians. I even got a little add-on here uh, down below that um, keeps track of how many stacks so you can max out at 20 stacks. And at about 20 stacks is when I get to uh, just shy of uh, 6K. And then I kick in my, um, uh, my spell power pod and it does even more. So let's see. So we did that. We did that. We did that. Um, my... Uh, my CP points have not changed. Um, 48 in the Thermoturge. 61, uh, Master of Arms. Uh, 61, 64, 36. Then I do Tumbling and Shadow Ward for 38, 37. I do Arcanist 75, Tenacity 56. Do Warlord 48, Sprinter 16. Then I also put some into Quick Recovery. And I actually had this from before. Uh, but this, again, helps out with that Swallow Soul uh, where you've got increases your healing received, you know, by 3%. You know, that really helps out. Um, Hardy, Thick Skin, and Elements of Defender, 64, 56, 64. And then Ironclad, 56. Spell Shield, 19. And there. So that's my setup for that. Um, let me see. Anything else I'm missing before I go on in 
in there. I think we're good. Um, it is veteran. Uh, just to make sure you got that. Um, let's see. I'm always forgetting something when I go into VMA. So I'm not going to pick up the quest because uh, uh, I'm not going to do a full run. I'm just going to do a couple of levels just to kind of show you, you know, the power you start getting in here. Um, you do have to be kind of active. You know, you don't want to get, try not to get hit too, too much um, in there. But once it, uh, once it kind of kicks in, you'll see, oh, there's two ways that um, the slowed stacks will go away. If you crouch, it'll go away. So be careful not to crouch. Um, and then um, uh, if you load up into a new zone um, or like exit a dungeon or something like that, it'll do it. Luckily enough, um, in VMA, it holds it through each level. So I thought I'd do the first two levels to kind of show you that as well um, and, and kind of show you the power. So uh, let's hope I get a nice impressive little run here at the beginning and kind of show you how all of this works. I really love it. I think it's it's probably my my favorite build to date, um, and uh, I'm I'm I, like I said I'm having a blast with it. It's always great to 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 have so much power in it. Um, I use this for VMA. I also use it for trials as well. Uh, trials is actually a little bit easier because you build up all those stacks and you've got a tank and you've got a healer you know taking care of you. So which is uh, very nice. So here we go. Let's go and check this out. Yep, and I've actually gotten some of my best scores um, on uh, VMA. Uh, my time is down under uh, 40 minutes, which is really cool. So I got my first 39 in there, and so I'm, uh, I'm going to try to do better, you know, even more this week. So, all right. So let's get this going. Guy. Boom, to hear this guy. Boom. And you see the number? Now I'm at number four over here. Boom. So I'm starting to do, you can see, I'm at 43.75. I'm starting to get more and more power. More power. That's for everything, too. So now these are almost becoming one-shots. That was a one shot. There we go. I'm at 58.15 or 59.15. 18 stacks. Oh, and also they'll go away if you die. So you gotta, you gotta be careful of that. There you go, 67.15. I'm at 67.15, I think my spell pot was on. Usually that guy will take me over to the second level. And you see I was able to kill him right here. Yeah. So doing much more power. And there was a say 60. Yeah, it was at 67.15. And then at 5. Is that a 5? I got it leading close to my eyes. 
Yeah, 5596. 5596. And it was at 6715. Uh, you know, while it's up there. So, yeah, so huge amount of damage in there. And uh, as I say, when you go to another level, it does continue on the stacks, which is very, very nice. Yeah. So I'm back here, and I still have my 20. So, yeah. There we go. So, enjoy it. Um, like I said, if you're able to get, you know, you don't even have to get the perfected false gods. It'll work, of course, a regular false gods uh, within there. So my little thing that just was a very... Um, happenstance uh, thing that I had New Moon Acolyte for the boots because I had, you know, perfected False Gods Jewelry, um, and it's just kind of how it worked out. Um, I was able to see, hey, I could make this into a medium armor, and so I could go heavy, medium, have all my light, still have my Thoracian. I give up a little bit either on a shield of Iceheart or the 8% that you get with Slime Craw, which was my two main monster helms. Uh, but now, um, you see, I do so much more damage. Uh, within that um, uh, so yeah there we go uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you get a lot out of it if you have any questions about it uh, you know uh, put something down in the comments um, about it and um, or come visit me uh, uh, twitch on Matagon and hang out and and I can talk to you live about it if you have any more questions about it so thank you so much uh, for watching this video thank you so much for uh, all the support. Um, I'm over 300 um, uh, subscribers on here, which is so much fun. Uh, uh, I didn't think I'd get up that high. So, because uh, uh, usually I make, you know, one video a week. I haven't lately, sorry. Uh, one video a week just to, um, um, you know, on a subject matter that I think, you know, I need to do like this, you know, um, or uh, something else kind of fun. So it's, it's really kind of a, a labor of love. Uh, for me to do this, but I thank you all for the support and uh, I hope you guys are having fun in Graymore and I hope you have fun with this build. So thank you all so much. Have a good one.